what do Russian people learn in English in Moscow pedagogical universities? Today we're gonna talk about it. Hello, everybody, was the Nikol Universe, and today also I will show you the examples of what we do and my homework that I prepared a little bit and I will discuss with you. It will be interesting. And let's dive into it. By the way, we don't learn about US something, we learn about UK a lot. It doesn't mean that we don't learn about US a lot, uh, I mean that uh, at all we learn about them, but mostly like 95% about the Great Britain, the Great Britain, yes, uh, without the or with the determinant, uh, do, we, do we need it or not? Okay, we have the text that we need to read and translate, and first of all, it is второй курс магистра магистратуры учебник, it is uh, the kind of short version of it, it is not the correct form how to write, it is uh, второй курс магистр учебник, if we will translate, it is second course, masters, the study book, okay, and it is what we learn in master's degree, second course, it means I, on my uh, sixth age of education, of higher education, wow, this is a lot of time, it's also 11th, gra 11th grades, and let's read about it, higher education in Great Britain, 5 o'clock tea, everybody, vocabulary, vocabulary that we use, it is to apply for something, to entrance, like, to come in, to be divided into, and uh, translation to Russian, like, it is the vocabulary that we we should know and maybe we don't know already and but we kind of uh, yes we will learn it uh, in this lesson and uh, to be divided into like uh, two different particles and institutions specific like study and uh, the place where we can study everything to independent like non-dependent it is uh, like uh, it is solo solo game guys to be responsible to something uh, some somebody somebody wow interesting smbd and uh, go governing council and uh, to receive a support and uh, an, ad an admission and also it is the access kind of accepting yes a, a selection it is selection of the people like it is selection on our on our education yes you are approved you you are approved you are going to this place free of charge just like without money and just like for you without some dinero and uh, without dough and uh, some of the nickels and dimes i'm kind of good in english i mean that i'm higher than my friends but today we will check it because i have never ever been on the studiments but on another fields i kind of better sometimes not not in Russian uh, literature, actually, I'm on my way to improve it, but uh, yes, in another field, I kind of uh, smart, nice and good, but actually we don't compare with each other, it means that we compare with different skills, okay, it is uh, what's, uh, it's like measurements, okay, for our view to the world. Let's go next, a grant, subsidia in Russian language, a loan, suda, zayom, <laughs> a government, правительство, to consist of, состоять из arts, гуманитарные науки, sciences, точные науки, a law, право, закон, a, tho, a tho, theology, and a department, theology, how to say it, correct, uh, let's find out, theology, G. a theology, theology, yes, theology, a department, department, a title, senior, and to pass examinations, bachel bachelor's degree or bachelor's, and uh, how to say it, correct, and Bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree. A postgraduate, the degree of master, to confer, присваивать, присуждать, a thesis. And how thesis or thesis? Let's find out. One moment. And where is it? A thesis. A thesis, a thesis to be based on at least a research, to be engaged in something, a vocation, in addition to earn money, success, it is considered, считается, an honor, like, an honor, it is an, or, uh, an honor to do this. Oh, Jesus, I need to use my phone to charge. Okay, let's let's read the text and uh, we have some questions after it and uh, we understand about it. And let's do reading with you right now. Most people in Great Britain start life in universities and colleges at the age of 18. If you want to go to a university, you usually apply for an entrance for an entrance during your last year at school. You can apply to any university in Britain and most people choose a university outside their hometown. There are about 90 universities in the UK. They are div divided into three types. The old universities Oxford, Cambridge, 
Cambridge and Edinburgh, and Edinburgh universities. The 19th century universities such as London, London and Manchester universities and the new ones Kent, Essex and York. The two oldest universities in England are Oxford and Cambridge. They are known for their specific system of education. Okay, we understand. All, all institutions are independent, autonomous and responsible only to their governing council. But council, how to, how to pronounce it? Uh, pronounce it. Council. One moment. Council. 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 Uh, council. But the, they receive financial support from the state. Their admission to the universities is by examination or selection interviews. Education in Britain is not free of charge. It is rather expensive. Students may get a grant or a loan from the government to study. A university consists of a number of facilit faculties. faculties. Arts, sciences, medicine, agriculture, 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 I think so. A, 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 one moment. Agriculture. Uh. Agriculture. Agriculture. Agriculture, education, and law and theology. 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 Again. Theology. Theology. The teaching is... The teaching is organized in departments such as engineer, economics, economics, echo, or eco. Eco, I think. Economics. Economics, commerce, history, French, etc. At the head of each faculty there is a professor. Other teachers are lecturers. Some of the senior teachers have the title of reader or senior lecturer. Students who pass examination at the end of three or four years of study get bachelor's degree. The first postgraduate degree is normally that of master. A master conferred, conferred, what is it? Conferred for a thesis. Conferred, it is, ah, it is kind of off for a thesis. And uh, that of masters conferred for a thesis based on at least one year's full-time work. Universities are the center centers of research and many postgraduates are engaged in research for the higher degree, the degree of doctor. PhD. The academic year in Britain is divided into three terms, which usually runs from about the beginning of the October to the middle of December, from the middle of January to the end of March, and from the middle of April to the end of June. It is three different periods. Or beginning of July. Uh, end of June or beginning of July. Okay, it is like in Russia. And uh, almost. And uh, because we have uh, two terms, you have three terms. And uh, the students have vaca vacations. So why we have vocation? Sometimes we have vac vacation, and here's vac v o. Sometimes v a, and sometimes v o. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. The students have vacations between the terms. A university usually has longer holidays, which last three or four months. There, three are a few weeks at Christmas and Easter. Easter, how to pronounce it? Easter. Easter. Easter, during which the students can go home or travel to earn money to pay for their education. And okay, let's let's speak about it. What have I learned? I learned that people like students they go to university at the age of 18 and also they study different arts, sciences, medicine, agriculture, finance, commerce and also some of the history, chemistry, physics and other things and they can they could go in the universities of 19th century and also in 18th I think so yes or all all to universities I mean we don't have the time here Oxford Cambridge and Edinburgh and the 19th century, London and Manchester, Manchester's, Manchester, Manchester universities, and the new, one, uh, new ones, as uh, Kent, Essex, and also we have the York. And uh, they study these things, and also we have the heads of the faculties, such as professors, and they could be lecturers, and also readers of the lectures, and they are senior lecturer, or maybe a reader, and also they could be different, uh, they could be in different states, and they could kind of teach them to the new things and fields and it's amazing and also we have the and we have the vacations and that happen in the time of uh, Mar from the 
Uh, one moment runs from about the, 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 the divide three terms. And uh, terms, terms are from October to the middle of December, beginning of October to the middle of December, from the middle of January to the end of March, and also f uh, and from the middle of April to the end of June or beginning of July. And also you have the vacations, uh, there are a few weeks, uh, and uh, you have holidays, last three or four one moment, a university usually has longer holidays, which ha ha last three or four months. There are a few weeks at Christmas and Easter. And also you have the, ah, you have different uh, types of them. And you can go home or travel or earn money to pay for the, the, the education. And we have then some of the exercises after that translate into English. Большинство британцев начинают учиться в университетах и колледжах в возрасте 18 лет. The majority of Britain people, British people, they start studying at university and colleges at the age of 18. В Соединенном Королевстве около 90 университетов. In the United Kingdom, they have, they, uh, in the United, uh, there are approximately, approximately 90 universities in the United Kingdom. Образование в Великобритании не бесплатное, оно довольно дорогое. The education in the Britain, it is not for free. Uh, it is the pretty expensive, yes? Каждый факультет возглавляет профессор. The each faculty heads by the professor. And uh, учебный год в Великобритании делится на три семестра. The study year in the, in the UK is divided two, three terms. Okay, complete the sentences using following words and expressions. Okay, we have the most people in the in, in Great Britain start life in universities and colleges at the age of 18. Also, the two oldest universities in England are Oxford and Cambridge. Students may get a grant of or a loan from the government to study. Students who pass examination at the end of three or four years of study get back bachelor's degree. The students, the students have vacations uh, between the terms. And also in, insert adequate preposition of in, into, by, to, for, outside, at. Most people in Great Britain start life in universities and colleges at the age of 18. Most people choose a university in their hometown. The university are divided into, th in, divided, into three t terms, yes, into three terms. The admission in the universities uh, is, uh, admission in the universities is, uh, is examination or selection okay admission admi admission one moment we'll find it right now the admission uh, to the university to the uh, to the universities is by examination the admission to the universities is by examination or selection admission is kind of approving universities are this and also universities are divided and hometown hometown and we have it and uh, outside their hometown, outside, outside here, and universities are the centers, cent, cent, are the centers of for, maybe, for the research and many postgraduates are engaged, ah, the centers research, the higher degree, the degree of, of doctor, and okay, we can find it, uh, doctor, one moment, doctor, doctor, and we have it, one moment, it is somewhere here, and next, next, and next, and here, I think so, yes, universities are the centers of research and many postgraduates are engaged in, ah, and many postgraduates are engaged in the research for the higher degree, the degree of doctor, yes, it is uh, the are the centers, centers of research. They are the center of it. Translate into Russian. If you want to go to a university, usually apply for an entrance during your last years at school. Если ты хочешь попасть в университет, ты обычно apply, то есть предоставляешь документы, apply for an entrance, you, ты поступаешь в университет в течение твоих последних лет школы. 
All institutions, all institutions are independent, autonomous and responsible only to their governing council, but they receive financial support from the state. Government is uh, the like what's the higher parliament or something student may get a grant or a loan from the government government to study okay we understand that so the students have vacations between the terms students who pass examination at the end of three or four years or study of study get bachelor's degree okay we understand that answer the following question so what are what age do the british students start life in universities at they start their life at the age of 18. Why is the last year at school very important for school leave leavers? Because they are usually they usually apply for an entrance during your last uh, their last years at school. Why is the last year at school where ah, okay, how many universities are there in the UK? Approximately it is uh, almost 90 and how it is said it is uh, there about okay about or approximately it is equals for it. What types are the the British universities divided into? They divided into three types all old ones like Cambridge and Oxford, also for London and Manchester, and also for the new ones as Essex, also Kent and York. And uh, they are here. And uh, what faculties are and departments does the university include? They include uh, different departments such as history, also French, it could be science and engineering and uh, physics and uh, theology, theolog theology and other things they could include. Who is the head of each faculty? A professor is a head of, a, of each faculty. And when, when do the British students get bachelor's degree? They get it after three, four years of their study. What is necessary for conferring degree of master? Necessary is uh, to continue the research. And the first postgraduate degree is normally that of master con conferred for a thesis based on at least one year's full-time full work. Thesis of full-time work, something happens here. And also... When do students in Britain have their vacation between this uh, between the between the they have Br Britain stu British students they have they have the their vacations Britain students have their vacation between the terms and they spend time to work on their jobs to pay for their families and for their study loans and uh, it is a lot of money and dough and nickels and dimes and pounds they should work and also they could go to home or maybe to the vacation to the beach and also they could be to the, they could go to the shores or maybe to another countries and they invested in everything that she, that they want okay it is uh, what we understand the next text will be about Oxbridge Anglo-Saxon Chronicle AD, Anno Domini, and Coat of Arms, and why? Tutorial, both prestigious. It is what we are learning. Okay, we learned it. It's amazing. And uh, thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Right now you know what we learned in Russia. And it is actually this. And in previous my university of uh, the cartography and uh, geodesy, we were learning text about text about surveying, surve surveying, sorry, surveying some places, polygons and some of the terraforms and also reliefs and some of the geodesic lines, curvature we were learning it in my previous university and also in one more university when I was studying too, it is about economics, we were learning about management, how to manage things and also about education too sometimes and also organization and about marketing strategies, we were learning about this but mostly about management, we were learning it. So thank you a lot for watching, improve style daily, go forward and learn English, learn Russian, learn Japanese and also other languages to be greater, to go to Cambridge, to Oxford, also to Essex and also to the Kent and also to the York and London and Manchester and Liverpool places and 90 different universities to apply for the, to, to apply to them and to also to learn some finance and also commerce and also some of the <laughs> economics and uh, theolo theology and other things of this nature. So thank you a lot for watching, see you next time.